All right, so we are looking at a higher eight bottle wine cooler that has stopped working. So this is a thermoelectric wine cooler. It's kind of, it operates kind of similarly to a, um, like a CPU heat sink that you might see in like a lot of tower computers, that sort of thing. Um, so this unit stopped working uh, after a power outage. We plugged it back in and started making this really awful um, chirping noise. And then the LED um, was also flashing. So. I'll go ahead and plug it in and you can see what that looks like. So now you can see that the LED is just flashing and there's also this uh, chirping noise, a couple chirps every second, and none of these buttons on the front work. Uh, and of course the machine is no longer cooling. So um, after some research, we found that it's probably a bad component on the control board. So let's crack over the back and uh, take a look. Okay, so now that the back panel of the unit is removed, uh, we can see that it's pretty simple setup. We just have the uh, thermoelectric cooler right here, and this is the fan with the heat sink behind it. And then, of course, above we have the control board that we're going to try to remove, and then see if there's anything that sticks out to sticks out to us uh, visually. There might be an issue that we can uh, we might be able to see what the what the problem is, but chances are probably not. Um, so let's go ahead and. To get our pliers and we'll gently remove all of these small connections and then we'll remove the four screws holding this plate in and then uh, or this control board in and then let's take a closer look all right so now we have the control board removed um, I'm taking a look at all of the different capacitors on here the couple different sizes of them and none of them stick out to me as being as possibly being the issue um, there's no New capacitors that are showing any sign of distress. None of them are bulging. None of them are, um, you know, have any 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 kind of leakage. Um, but some research has shown that this C8 capacitor is often the issue. Um, so you might have luck just replacing that capacitor. But I have a bunch of other capacitors here. So if just I'll start re by replacing that C8 capacitor, and then if that doesn't work, then I'll go ahead and just change the rest out. Uh, but this is a FX-101B control board. Um, there's a couple different versions of these. You might be able to find some on eBay, but I think this machine is, if that's the correct date, this was built in 2012, so about 10 years old. Um, so these boards, I know Hire doesn't make this, this uh, wine cooler anymore, but there's a lot of other wine cooler uh, manufacturers that use the same board or just a variant of this board so you might have luck finding a similar board and then it might be just slightly different and i've seen them they have different fuses and then some of the connections are also uh, a little bit different based on the board um, so if you're handy you might be able to get one of those other boards and just replace it uh, with some modifications um, but in my case i want to try to just repair it myself uh, I'm, so i'm going to start replacing that ca capacitor and seeing if that works otherwise you have to go out and buy a new control board and since they're hard to find they're a little more expensive um, and you could easily spend just as much money as you would where you it gets to the point where you might just have to buy a new wine cooler because wine coolers themselves are probably like 80 to 100 bucks and so you might as well just buy a new one um but we don't this one works perfectly well otherwise so I can spend just a few bucks and try to put a new capacitor on there and see if that works because I have all the equipment to do that. Um, so hopefully it'll be a cheap fix. So I'll first start with that C8 um, and then if that doesn't work, I'll just go ahead and replace the rest of them. So let's see if that works. All right, so now for the big reveal, let's see if just replacing that one capacitor worked. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. I have the uh, the board just held in here by just one screw. I got everything kind of wired up for a quick test. And it looks good. So we have the fan running. That green light is on. Let's check the front panel. And it's at 70 degrees. 
No more chirping, no more flashing. And it looks like the front panel works perfectly. So I think this project is done. The only thing I had to change was out change out that uh, that C8 capacitor. So with just a few minutes of your time and a couple tools, you're able to keep this thing out of the dumpster. So I hope this helps anybody. Um, I'm going to go go going to go ahead and unplug it. And uh, I notice there's a lot of uh, dust build up on this fan so I'll just clean that out a little bit but um, otherwise I think we can call this project done so I hope this helps anybody and uh, good luck in your future projects